they but I think people those... like to be victims sometimes. Okay, let's talk about that. I have, <laughs> really, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why do so many women stay in bad relationships? Oh. <laughs> You're like, oh, the collective no. one. All righty, let's, yeah, let's take a sec. No, um, well, well, that, you know what, it's, it's complicated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it is, it's complicated. The overriding word I would use is fear. Mm -hmm. A lot mm -hmm. of fear. Fear mm -hmm. of okay. making the decision. Fear of how do I get out of it. The fear of what do I do yeah. when yeah. once I do get out of it. I think you feel very fragile from my clients. Mm -hmm. uh, and my, I also come from divorced parents also. And I think you feel very fragile, especially if it's a, a longer relationship too. We're talking past five years. I mean, so much of your- you older. Yes, and so much of your identity is wrapped up now in this duo. And I, I, I couldn't agree with you more. I think it all has to do with, with fear. I don't know that how old you guys are, but do you remember eight track tapes? Oh. Yeah. Yes. yes. Right. Oh. Do we have to admit that? I'm sorry, but I was never know. Eight track tapes. I, <laughs> we'll have another I video on that. I remember cassette tapes. That... I always tell my clients is mm -hmm. that um, our pasts are like eight track tapes. Ooh. And we think that, like, we keep trying to play it over and over again, and in bad relationships, it's mm -hmm. like, it's familiar to us. And so I always tell my client, like, get rid of the eight track mm -hmm. tapes. They don't exist any longer. They don't play. It's time for the MP3. It's get rid of that. But they don't know how because it's all they know. Staying in something that isn't healthy and that feel there's still a, a certainty around it. You know what you're yeah, getting versus it's 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 also, I, The story we tell ourselves about what it means for us. Oh uh -huh. yeah. Like it means if I leave this I'm a failure. Mm -hmm. It means if I leave I'm single or divorced mm -hmm. or a single parent. And those stories, I think, keep women so stuck. I don't okay. think it's all, well, I can't because I don't know how. Like, I think that's a piece <laughs> of it. But I think there's a piece of you it. You're calling where, a little BS on that? All right, well, yeah, bring it. I think there's a piece of us that get that But get I think little... people like to be victims sometimes. Okay, let's talk about that. Boo. I, I really, I'm sorry. Boo, yeah. Boo, no, boo. No, 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 yeah. You're right and boo. Yeah. But I, I think it, again, ha goes back to sense of identity. I think a lot of it is wrapped up, sense of identity can be wrapped up in being a victim also. Women, a lot of times, are addicted to the way bad love feels. Mm. You know, the adrenaline rushes like, and the ups the, and downs. The roller coaster mm. yeah. of like, it's, it's great, it sucks, it's great, it sucks. And you get on that ride, and to your point about the victim, you kind of choose to stay on that ride. And right. it's, it's, my feeling is like, until you decide to know better, mm -hmm. you're gonna keep getting on that ride. Change happens when you're sick of not changing. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. when it it's becomes honest. more yeah. of yeah. the pain, the pain becomes but, greater yeah, yeah. than, yeah. than you're like, you know, I'd the pain. Yeah, you're like, I'd actually like to change now. Well, we also have this very, this false belief system that what lies on the other side of the change is worse than what we're, what That's we're dealing right. with right now. Mm -hmm. We don't have this faith and trust that, oh, this could be better. Better. Yeah. You stop becoming what you're meant to be within the context of the relationship. Evolving. And mm. then so Wrong it becomes daunting. It becomes mm. daunting. And so it is easier to just say, this is my lot. Like to right? give this up? This is it. Yeah. I remember there was a client I was working with and we were practicing flirting techniques, right? Yeah. And so, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll talk about that later. But it, what was so interesting to me is that there was a guy who was treating her as a total gentleman. He was doing all the things that you were saying, mm -hmm. opening the doors, you know, and really complimenting her. And when we walked away, I said, so how did that feel? And she's like, oh, I mean, he's nice, but I just didn't have that chemistry with oh. him. So you hear this a lot, a is lot. that the bad she boy, trust it. right? She didn't trust it. Well, it's unfamiliar to her. Well, it's not familiar, her. exactly. That's what you were saying. Yeah, and you know it how to navigate the familiar, even if it's bad. Right. It's that right. whole thing I know what to expect. Yeah. yeah. The uncertainty yeah. is too it, uncomfortable. It's that whole thing of like, if someone wants you to join their club, you don't want to join their club. Like, <laughs> why would I want to join their club? <laughs> Reverse psychology. <laughs> Reverse. <laughs> what percentage of your clients deal with this issue? I'm in a shitty relationship. I need oh. to get out. I don't know how. What percentage? Go around the room. I'm in a unique situation yeah. that they've all been, they've all done it so or are in the process. You. Really, every all of them. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, working with people going through breakups. Mm -hmm. All pretty much. Yeah. Or have been through a bad breakup. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. then the women that are stuck. Forty percent probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of. I'd say fifty-fifty because some mm -hmm. just don't even know what a relationship looks like. Okay. So one final question: When a woman makes a decision to get out of a bad relationship, how easy is it once she's decided to get out? I don't think you can get out without making that shift in perception, mm -hmm. and I don't think it's easy yeah. either way. I think it's I think it's a lot of work, but you you're dedicated to is your it easier. Future. Oh yeah, because it's the fuel you need to to uh, inspire the journey. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can't do it without that. 
think it's as easy or hard as you make it, depending on <laughs> <laughs> what happens in somebody's history, but action speaks louder than words. Mm -hmm. And so if it's one shoe at a time, mm -hmm. that's If you've made the decision, it's worth taking the strategic steps you have to to do it. You know, I think the decision is the, the key motivating factor. You've got to make that decision first. Mm -hmm. It's never easy after that. It is not like one path that's right. clear, like woohoo. But you know, it's you got to remember, there's a light at the end of the tunnel and it's not a train coming or running over. So to sum up, like I think ladies need to really like get to a place where the pain is crucial enough that they feel mm -hmm. like I've got to get out of a bad relationship. And once that decision is made, it sounds like the path shows itself. <laughs>